Hey gamers, welcome back to the channel and welcome if you're new here. Today we're diving into the mesmerizing world of Avatar from Tears of Pandora. The game that not only lived up to the hype, but left me utterly speechless. Seriously, my jaw is still on the floor. Before we jump into the nitty gritty, this review is going to be a roller coaster through the sections that make Avatar a gaming masterpiece. We're talking graphics and performance on the almighty PS5, the jaw-dropping environment and vast map, and the all-encompassing immersion, plus much more. So first, let's address the elephant in the room. Papyrus! Is Avatar from Tears of Pandora a risking of Far Cry? I'm glad to say that no, it is not. Yes, there is a similarity, which is that it's a first-person shooter game. But apart from that, the exploration is completely different, you really feel part of the world, you feel like you are Navi. And that is the most important thing in the game, in my opinion. The world building and attention to detail, to the story and lore of Avatar, is so good that you forget about the combat. The combat is just a secondary thing in this game. Performance. Avatar runs like a dream on the PS5 and even in quality mode. It's so smooth that I forgot it wasn't running at 60 FPS. The visuals are just mind-blowing and I've lost count of how many times I had to pause and soak in the sheer beauty of Pandora. From the eye color and face shape to Navi bioluminescence patterns, the customization is good enough when considering that all Navi have similar characteristics and it's a first-person shooter. We can, however, see ourselves in third person when on our mount and on photo mode. It is also possible to obtain new patterns and cosmetics for your appearance through the store and also unlocking with missions. Pandora's map is just massive, no pun intended, and I'm loving every inch of it. That's what she said! <laughs> I spent a good 10 hours in Kingler Forest alone, and that's the amount of time I played so far only exploring a fraction of it, about a third. Immersion is the name of the game here, with minimal UI and customizable settings that lets you dive as deep as you want. I've been rocking the exploration mode, and let me tell you, it takes the experience to a whole new level. Avatar has two quest guidance options. The quest guidance allows you to choose how much assistance you would like to have when navigating the world while doing quests. The first option is Guided. When you use your Navi Sense, a glowing marker will appear in the direction of the objective. You still have to look around to find it though. Now, the second option is called Exploration. In Exploration mode, you will get hints to quest locations, but there is no marker and it requires you to use map and world knowledge to find where to go. Now, let's talk about gameplay. Avatar throws in a mix of combat settings, a flexible difficulty system, and a field of view slider that gives you the perfect view of this lush world. The gameplay is centered around the exploration, and every nook and cranny has a surprise waiting. I had a heart pounding encounter with two hammerheads that turned into a full on event. And man, did it feel epic. In this event, when I tried to avoid the hammerheads, I came across another hammerhead that was trapped by the RDA. Long story short, I had to free it. Every system focuses on exploration. Do you want to prepare a meal? You have your book recipe where you can see the ingredients needed. Oh, you don't know where to find meat? Go to your hunter's guide. There you can find everything about the fauna and flora you discovered. You can see where they are commonly found, their weaknesses, and where to find rare versions of the wildlife. But one of my favorite mechanics is the clan favor. Clan favor is used to purchase ingredients, recipes, gear, among other things. And there are two main ways to obtain new favors. Yes, pun intended. Through clan missions and through the community basket. 
In the community basket, you can donate things to contribute to the clan. This story is still a work in progress for me, but what I've seen so far is already gripping. The world building and the inclusion of familiar characters from the movies had me hooked from the get-go. Side missions are just as engaging, making you feel like a part of Pandora. The sound design is on another level, making Pandora feel alive, especially if you're rocking 3D audio. And yes, Avatar from Tears of Pandora has an in-game store. The in-game store features different packs, Ikran skins, items, weapons, character cosmetics and items, utilities and add-ons. The price ranges from 300 to 1500 currency of the game, which does not have a name yet. I personally don't mind it since it's a single player game, or at best a co-op game, and it won't affect anybody else's experience. Also, it's possible to obtain the currency while playing the game. At least, I got 300 when completing a Ubisoft Connect achievement. In a nutshell, Avatar from Tears of Pandora has been an absolute blast so far. If you want to be a Navi and get lost in the wonders of Pandora, this game is a must play. And hey, if you're still on the fence, consider saving some bucks with Ubisoft Plus, because the game will be there day one. And I've been having so much fun that I'm committed to bringing your daily videos about Avatar, so don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell if you enjoy the content. Cheers, and oh well, Nati Kameye.